I'm going to go ahead and record. Alrighty, so welcome to our team call. This is a weird one because we're live streaming so we can watch our team members in their showcase. But hey, tonight we are talking about um, Facebook Live and how this is changing our lives and how we go about making this happen in an awesome freaking way. So first of all, let's just go ahead and talk really quickly about why Facebook Live makes such a difference for us as, you know, people in MLMs and coaches. So initially, we know that we are in the people business. But what's so hard sometimes about what we do is the fact that we don't get to have this interaction. We don't get to have this face-to-face -face interaction, you know, natural voices talking to one another. So we put it over a computer screen and a lot of people don't necessarily receive that super well. So Facebook Live changes the game for us in the sense that we actually get to talk to people. They get to see our personality. They get to see our faces. They get to see that we are real human beings doing real things, making a real impact, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So super exciting. Now I have been watching a ton of Celine Johnson videos because I know that Facebook Live is going to be such a game changer for, hi Krista. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm like in the middle of talking, but I wanted to say hi. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I have been really following Shaleen and her trainings because I know that this is gonna be such a game changer, especially for so many of us on our team because we are actors, because we feel comfortable speaking. And even for people who just in general, like have a hard time um, making that connect with people, this really allows them to see like we don't plan everything that we say. We, we're human beings, like we're human beings who have real things and thoughts and we're, we're just human, you know, we make mistakes. And Facebook Live, having it be a live stream really allows people to get that sense of humanization. So I'm just going to kind of give you the 10 things that Shaleen gave everyone this past week um, in terms of what we should know before we go Facebook Live and how to really capture our audience so that they keep coming back to watch our videos. So number one, she says, grab attention and tell them what you're going to talk about. So straight out of the gate, before you say your name, before you give them time to get off of your Facebook live stream. What you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to present yourself with all the excitement in the world. So, Hey, I am so excited. You're here today. I am, I'm going to be talking to you about this awesome new thing called Facebook live. And I'm going to tell you all the, all the things you should know about it before, before you do your own video, you know, you come out right out of the gate, show up with energy and tell them what you're going to be talking about. So once you've done that, what happens? Well, then you're gonna introduce yourself. You want people to know exactly who you are and why you're an expert or talking about this specific topic. So a lot of the times I feel like that doesn't necessarily apply to what we do as coaches, but there are circumstances where we do get that opportunity to say, you know, I'm a health and fitness coach. I have been doing this for the past year and it gives you an opportunity to state your qualifications. That's not necessary all the time in order for you to give a successful Facebook Live chat. But definitely make sure that people know who you are before you start speaking. All right, so number three, what we do after we have grabbed attention, introduced ourselves and let them know what we're gonna be talking about, we are going to decide not to be a Facebook Live junkie. So you wanna keep your market coming back. You can't do that if you oversaturate your newsfeed with constant Facebook Live videos. So when you are doing Facebook Live, we're applying the same exact principles that we would in a post. You want to be thinking value. You want to be thinking um, scarcity, you know, really creating demand for what you are giving. We can't do that if we are constantly doing everything through Facebook Live. So make people want more and you do that by maybe doing it once a day or a few times a week. Not, not something that is just like 
constant all over your news feed all the time because then why are they going to have incentive to check in? Alrighty, so then the next thing, when you go live, just give three or four bullet points. So I think we have a tendency a lot of the time as coaches to want to give all the information at once because we're super excited about what it is that we're doing. But people get distracted and when they start getting distracted, they have a hard time receiving what it is that we're presenting to them. So they'll hear the first two, three things, but then four, five, six, seven, they're gone already. They don't know what the hell we're talking about anymore because we have completely lost them. So keep it short and simple and always understand that you can go back. You have an opportunity to go back, make another video, and give them more information, you know, breadcrumb more information, but you don't want to overwhelm people right up front. So really try to stick to three or four points in your video so that, you know, you have a concise video of value. That's what we're aiming to get. All right, number five, be real, but remember you don't have a reality TV show, which is probably for a reason. So Shaleen Johnson phrased this so well. She said, you need to put on your phone or your computer screen and really speak as though you are speaking to a friend. And when you create a Facebook Live video, it is not just to, hey, selfie, walk around, like, see what's going on in my life and basically have a camera follow you all over the place. No, we are adding value. We do not have a reality TV show and there's a reason for that, okay? And when you do have a reality TV show, think about how those things are edited and spliced together and like there's still a production crew behind it to make it interesting, to make it juicy. Well, we don't have all that stuff because we're doing this live. So you guys have to remember, people typically are not going to, unless it's something super interesting that's happening in your life, they don't, they don't really care to be with you every second of your day. So make sure that when you're presenting, you are being super real and authentic because that's what's going to draw people into you, but that you're giving value in your videos. All right. Number six, don't sell. Be passionate. If you don't want to sell, all that really means is that you don't believe in the product. So I loved that she said this because we say this all the time, you know, just because of the nature of an MLM. We, we struggle with this idea a lot of the times that we have to sell a ton of product in order to make a paycheck. And the more we get away from the idea of having to sell, 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 and really just diving into our own journeys, being a product of the product, that's when the product actually starts to sell. Because guys, there are over 400,000 coaches in the network. The products are the products. The products work. But what is going to make someone sign with you is you and your journey. You are what makes the product different. Your groups are what create that element of you know, specialty, something that's unique for them, so something that's a unique experience for them. So just be passionate. Share your journey on Facebook Live the same way you would in a post. And if you are someone that struggles to speak right off the cuff, then guys, think through what it is that you want to say. Think through the points you are wanting to get across before you get on Facebook Live and practice it even. So that when you, when you do get on, you feel like you're talking to a friend. You feel like you're saying things that you've said before. And the whole like fear of going live thing is kind of thrown out the window because guys, fear, fear doesn't get us anywhere. So throw that crap away. All right. Number seven. I'm whipping through these things. Um, number seven, be brief, be bright, be gone. So be brief, concise. That is the word for Facebook Live videos. I am really trying to get my points across effectively, quickly, because I have a tendency of talking and talking and talking and diving into all the little nuances and everything that I want explained. Um, but really, that's not effective on Facebook Live. So 
I am aiming to keep my videos to four to five minutes max. Um, my first one failed seven minutes, <laughs> but the goal is to keep it four to five minutes. People will stay around that long. If you can do it shorter, even better because people are more willing to watch the whole thing if they can get in and out. So be bright. Guys, when you do this, try to find good lighting. Don't do super dark lighting. You know, give yourself some light. Give yourself an opportunity to be seen. And again, bright also applies to that personality. Allow your energy to come to the table. Show up. Get excited um, so that your audience gets excited. If you're not passionate, why are they going to be? And the third part of that, be gone. So in and out. And one super effective thing that you guys can do is announce to your audience when it is that they can expect to see you again. Because then you get people starting to watch. You get people starting to come back. And that's awesome. That's awesome because all of those people who may be watching your journey or may be curious but are too scared to reach out have an opportunity to connect with you. They have an opportunity to see that you're a real person. You're not feeding them any crap. Um, and, um, you know, they're getting spurts of information without feeling really overwhelmed. So that's number seven. Number eight, Shaleen says, use a tripod. And for all of us, this isn't necessarily going to be a tripod, but basically she's saying, don't hold it and be shaky person over here. You want something that's going to steady that phone steady your visibility so that people don't feel sick watching the video or the screen as you're like moving all over the place. Really just try to plant that thing and speak into the camera as though it is um, a friend. And yes, absolutely use the selfie stick we won. That's right. Um, okay, so then Number nine, have a live event. I thought this was so cool, and this is really going to make a difference for us. Guys, you can Facebook live stream in your groups or in live events. So when we have challenge groups and stuff like that, we can talk to our challengers directly. And sometimes I know that in my case, it has felt a little sterile sometimes because my videos are old, and that's perfectly acceptable, and most coaches use their videos over and over again. But sometimes it's just nice for your challengers to know like you legitimately are right there with them and you are talking about something that's happening in real time. So I really think that that's gonna change the game. But again, creating that live demand for it. So announcing to people, you know, I'm gonna be going live at 10 p.m. tonight. Join me to hear about this really exciting launch that I'm promoting, whatever, you know. You can post all that stuff on your Facebook so that you're driving the traffic over to your page so that when you go live, you already have viewers there. Um, okay, last but not least, never do a video without a call to action. So sometimes this is hard, but it's really effective. Some things that she said, it can be so simple. Follow me is a call to action. Leave any questions you have in the comments below is a call to action. Tonight, your call to action for this call is going to be applying these principles in your first Facebook Live video. So I want all of you to find something. It does not even have to be Beachbody related. I want you to find something that you are on fire for, something that you are really excited to talk about, and go live with it. In the next two to three days, I want you to try going live. Rip off the Band-Aid. Allow yourself to be seen face to face. Even if you're not the best on camera, what do you have to lose by trying? You can always delete that video off of your timeline, just like you can a post, if it does not go well. But give yourself the opportunity to try something new and give yourself to connect with your, an opportunity to connect with your audience in a new way. So 10 principles. What I'm going to do is go ahead and leave these in our team page because I really want you guys to apply them. Um, 
and we can kind of talk about these things throughout the week. We can also cheer each other on as we go live. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this kind of affects um, our team and kind of puts the ripple through our team. I think this is going to be huge for our market specifically. Um, and I'm really, really excited to see what everyone does with it. So that's our call for tonight. Like I said, super short and sweet. Um, just passing along some information for you. But I am going to encourage everyone to go re watch the rest of this showcase um, and support everyone that is on the other side of the screen, especially Mackenzie, who has freaking rocked it tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited for, for all of you and all of this new stuff that is going on. Um, and we can go ahead and just end in quick prayer. Dear Lord, um, first and foremost, thank you for providing us such talent and heart on this team. It is such a joy to be able to watch and support some of the people who have crossed our paths uh, through this past year and few months. It is a real blessing to be able to get up and do what we love each and every day, whether that be singing, dancing, acting, drawing, coaching, whatever it is, you have blessed us all with such gifts. And to be able to get up and share in the joy of doing those things really is something special. So thank you so much for providing us that opportunity and for giving us this team that really is just a huge, massive support system. Um, always help us to recognize that we truly are family, regardless of a sale, of a challenge, of plugging anyone in we really at the heart of this team are family and please help us to continue to foster that bond um, as the years go on help us to also reach those who need to hear our voices and help us speak with clarity and passion as we spread this message um, through our world so in your name we pray amen all righty guys Love you and Mackenzie. Go rock this. Close it out. Well, break legs. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Bye.